Welcome everybody. This is, uh, I've already lost count of the number of showcases we've had um, and until day, in, in to, to date. Um, we'll kind of take you through a little bit about uh, introductions to the showcase. It should be, take about five to seven minutes. And then we're gonna do an introduction to the panel, introduction to the company's pitching as well. Um, and we'll take it one step at a time. So everybody welcome to um, today's showcase where the focus of the, our event is on energy innovation. Our um, goal as an organization is to advance deep tech um, and to do so in through a variety of methods. Um, first and foremost is um, uh, from the side of the, the companies to help deep tech companies um, to get organized and to um, start to get exposure. But before so um, in the analogy of uh, if you're going to the wood to you go into the, to the forest to chop down the trees, make sure you have a very sharp ax before you go out to work. And that's exactly what we're doing. Um, on the other side, we're helping um, a compilation of investors, um, stakeholders from government as well, from city, state, and federal, as well as from major corporations, um, uh, assisting them with their tech scouting and finding relevant um, small business innovations um, to, in order to solve problem sets um, or to be an interesting uh, part of their deal flow. So our community is um, a mixture of innovators and stakeholders, um, where the idea of the, by creating a, a community like this is to make so, so that the two can actually meet in an organized fashion where everybody knows what's at stake. Our focus is on deep technology, and it's very simple. It, deep tech um, is the place where technology um, solves deep-rooted issues that we're, and challenges that we're facing today. Um, not to, to take away from um, standard technology, which is not as IP intensive, those, those technologies themselves can also solve challenges. But what we know about core technology it, when, it, when, it is, um, when it is research intensive um, is the room for impact, not just on, um, um, on businesses, but on society, on government uh, is tremendous. Um, and of course, the more we uh, put efforts and investment into deep tech, um, it helps us address tomorrow's challenges before they even arise. Our organization um, splits into four primary categories. Um, one is the showcase, which involves events as well as um, uh, introductions between the stakeholders and the innovators. Um, but we also help um, with um, connecting companies to uh, investors and connecting investors to um, innovative technology. Um, we also help with the level of strategy, um, which is that sharpening of the axe analogy that I used earlier, uh, as well as Kissing Frog Studio, which uh, is our assistance in the studio and the design elements, so that those great technology companies can have some good UX, good uh, um, design as well. And that's how our, um, our service is split. You have strategies and dual use market discovery. That's, um, we know the technology itself um, for the sake of technology can be developed on and on and on. But in order to create a business around technology, um, a company needs to be firmly positioned and have full understanding of what its market is. But beyond its market, who, how to translate from technology into use cases. And those use cases, of course, are built around a potential customer. Um, in the world of deep tech, that's um, more true than ever because um, the technology uh, development is never ending. Um, but also when you added the element of dual use, the fact that there's going to be a government usage um, or use case for this technology, as well as a private sector application of this technology, then the need for a clear market understanding um, is, is tantamount. It, it's, it is very, very important for a company that is deep tech and dual use to make sure um, that they know where they want to go for the first initial steps, for the second steps, the third steps, and every step along the way so as not to get lost in the technology. Um, and once you have that understanding, you need to translate that into visuals that, um, which compel the message. And you also, you need to craft the narrative around the story. We have all been um, in those unfortunate situations where you know that there's something beautiful here technology-wise, but it gets lost behind the lack of narrative around the technology. And, uh, and we work very hard to, with companies to make sure that um, the technology receives the platform because the narrative is clear. And that's connected also to the strategies and dual use market discovery. Um, of course, we put on pitch events. That's why you're all here today. Um, and we also, between events, 
Um, we do guided introductions where well, our job is to, for the stakeholders, is to find innovative companies which match their uh, areas of interest, and also for the startups to help find the stakeholders which help them, will help them essentially to grow. Um, the way it works with us is that we introduce them first and foremost, we, before introducing them, um, we share um, information about uh, the companies with the stakeholders. The stakeholders uh, let us know if they would like an introduction to the companies, and if they do, we make that introduction. And then in a very clean way, we take a step back and we allow for um, the business to happen um, between the two parties. Um, we also help with raising capital. Um, as we know, it's a, it's a different ballgame, whether you're going after um, a deal flow of companies for an investor, um, or if you're going after um, a deal flow of companies for pilot projects with um, government or for merger and acquisition opportunities for a major corporation um, and the like. Our membership is a nine month membership, which splits up to um, all these services where we have very clear deliverables at every single stage and we'll go into them today. Um, but it, it's important to know um, this is a guided process and it's a structured process. Why are we focused on doing things the way we're doing them? Well, the gate theory works as the following. Um, th there is, tremendous amount of noise at the gate to get into the gate of a, a federal or a city or state government stakeholder or for a tech scout for a major corporation or an investor. How, if you're an investor on this panel without raising your hand or without stating the number, um, you probably view um, upwards of a couple hundred to maybe even a thousand or 2000 decks per year. And it's really, really hard to identify um, uh, the real core, the real core technology for those that are those of us that are deep tech um, oriented, um, from that noise, which is based on maybe on open software or doesn't really solve tomorrow's issues, um, and therefore we need to create a network, and that's what we're doing here. As we're create, we've created a network in order to enable so that the right companies come through the gate. Those companies that are developing something which is truly innovative, which is truly has an impact on tomorrow, um, to allow them to get through the gate. Um, the truth is, well, another limitation is usually, um, we, as we mentioned before, um, we get stuck on listening to a deep tech company where maybe the business sense isn't as flushed out as it could be, um, or maybe the uh, ability to tell a good story is not there. And, and, and as a result, we don't actually get a chance to really see what that technology is about. And we're trying to prevent that from happening so that, again, we can fulfill our mission, which is deep tech um, needs to reach market. And of course, um, without the stakeholders um, here on the panel to, in the community, um, deep tech doesn't have a real good chance of seeing the market because it, it tends to be that the R and D process is a little bit longer, um, a little more, um, a little more R and D intensive, and as a result, um, you need more partners um, and you need patient partners as well. Our definition of stakeholder alluded to it earlier uh, from public sector, from major corporations, tech scouts, and investors. Um, and you can you skip through this also, but what our, our role is first getting ready and starting to get the exposure. Um, and we do that through guided introductions, but also through events. So we run a monthly event. So if anybody who's new to the showcase, um, this is the energy showcase. Um, we have a, a calendar, full calendar, all the way through to the beginning of next year. Next slide. Uh, and here is that calendar, um, July 15th. Today is the energy and uh, coming up is autonomous system. We'll talk about that in just a second. Next slide. Today's showcase is going to be split into three sessions. Um, the open topic is, um, according to our uh, tradition here, is a variety of tech. It's not necessarily connected to um, the industry topic of today. It's a place for um, those that are more eclectic in their, in their technology interests on the, on the stakeholder and panel side um, to listen to a variety of different tech companies. Um, afterwards, we're going to launch right into the energy topic of today, which is um, started with renewable and alternative energy. Um, and then the, the third session is based on supporting systems for energy technology. So we're going to be hearing mostly two thirds from today are going to be energy focused, but we're also going to have the open topic, which is going to be um, a number of companies which are pitching from a variety of different industries. So don't be alarmed when you hear some. The first, the first few companies on the energy showcase are not necessarily energy focused. Today's a panelist, so we're joined by uh, an amazing group, um, as we always are. But we're very fortunate um, to have some some new panelists and some um, some some of those that are um, uh, joining us for the second or third time um, from Edison Partners. We have Aspen Pierce from Cisco, Udi Goyel, um, Dave Whitmire from Now Vertical Group, 
Um, Justin Weber from First Midwest Group, um, Saul Cates from Thales, Thales uh, Cloud Security, uh, Tina Tasagawang from GC International, Sky River Ventures, uh, we have Hayuk Jean So, also from Boston, and from Veteran Ventures Capital, we have Steve Kaiser, Dr. Steve Kaiser. So that's for the open topic. The company is pitching at the open topic are split into Omnitech Partners, Blocknet, Vendita, Cyber Infrastructure Technologies, and World Housing Solution. It's a great open topic, a lot of variety in the technology companies pitching there. Um, for the panelists for part two, which is renewable and alternative energy sessions, we're joined by Judy Lee from Energy Foundry, Alexander Rosenfeld from Climate Impact Capital, from Liberty, Dr. Andrea Rutalo, um, from Full Cycle Climate Partners, Kyle Atkins, from Nesta, Manish Miglani, from Technip and FMC, Dr. Deanna Grauer, from Army Futures Command, Desi Grogan, from Shimizu Corporation, Chuntaro Kano, um, from Anzu Partners, Josh Styling, and from uh, Stanford University, um, with a focus on sustainability and energy management, is Lincoln uh, Blevins. Companies pitching um, today are Sesame Solar, New Age, a New Energy, and Aqua Metals. Lastly, our, our third uh, session is, is a focus on power management and supporting systems. Um, we're joined by um, Judy Lee, who's also on the previous panel, uh, for NAFIC EXWC, Bill Anderson, Dr. Bill Anderson. Um, now we're told with David Whitmire to stay for this session as well. Lockheed, from Lockheed and Martin, Ryan Hatcher, from Microsoft, Anna Roth, from Delmar Aerospace Corporation, Stanley Springer. Um, from Technic FMC, um, Dr. Diana Groves is also participating in this um, in this panel, and so are uh, Destry Program from Our Futures Command, Shuntar Kana from Shimizu Corporation, and Josh Style. Companies pitching at the third session are Thermatic at Thermexit, SensorLink, Via, and ABM Nano. A little bit about us. That's our um, team. Um, we have, or you're going to be meeting today, uh, myself, Josh Barron, I'm the managing director. Asher Redentity is also on the call. call. Leor Moore will be joining um, later on. Uh, Yuval Herman and Ariel Schatz are um, our founders, always listening. Next showcase is on August 19th, so stay tuned for more information about this. It's going to be split into three sessions, as usual, an open topic, but also uh, two very uh, autonomous system focus, which are going to be autonomous vehicles and drones. And then our third session is IoT data and defense. Last words on our network. So our organization is um, part of a, a larger uh, group um, of uh, all deep foc tech focus. As we all know, um, deep tech is assisted by government um, in a variety of ways. And one of those ways is from uh, grant funding. Um, our sister companies, Argentum and Eagle Point Funding, focus on grant funding. Um, Argentum for um, EU. Um, specifically Horizon and, and similar programs um, from uh, the European Union. Um, and Eagle Point funding is focused uh, on non-life science technology um, from US federal sources. Um, our organization, Deep Tech Showcase, um, merges between the two and assisting with all, all, all non-grant matters, which is, of course, connections um, to different types of stakeholders, on the one hand, also for uh, stakeholders to help with the pipeline. We're in a unique position considering the, the, te the technologies um, that we're exposed to um, between our sister companies and also directly from the showcase. Um, and uh, the companies that we're working with beyond being deep tech um, are also for accessing a variety of funding resources and um, attracting, of course, dual use type customers. Um, and as a result, they're also eligible for unique programs like the TACFI Stratify match program from the Air Force and other public private opportunities. Feel free to contact us. Um, it, that's uh, Yuval's email. You will put our um, uh, information in uh, the chat a little bit later on if you have any questions after the event.